Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis, and I'm going to talk about autism. You know what? Air pollution increases the risk of autism. You know, autism is a terrible developmental disorder marked by repetitive behaviors and trouble communicating and socializing. And the incidence of autism has been steadily increasing and now affects one in 68 children in the United States. I mean, this is a horrible human tragedy. While we know that vaccinations cause autism, Another causal factor has been reported in a 2015 Environmental Health Perspectives journal. This study found that women who were exposed to high levels of air pollution during their third trimester of pregnancy may be twice as likely to have an autistic child. Research has found that the risk of autism increases with exposure to fine particulate matter during pregnancy with the biggest effect occurring in the final months. The theory is that there is an inflammatory or an immune response to the pollution, and that immune response damages the fetus. Fine particulate matter can come from many different sources. This includes local traffic, even power plants located hundreds of miles away. There is no way to avoid it entirely. But there are sensible things that anyone can do, such as using a high-quality HEPA air filter in their home and workspace. Pregnant women who make trips to cities with high levels of pollution should refrain from exercising in traffic-clogged areas. So don't exercise where there's a lot of traffic and as during pregnancy and stay away from high pollution areas. So there it is, folks, you know. We, we, we don't seem to appreciate the effect that air pollution is having on us, and here's proof that it even affects autism. So uh, let's all be careful with that. I use air filters when I sleep. I use air filters uh, in my home. You can use them too. Um, go in good health and enjoy.